People are already getting vaccinated in the United Kingdom, where health experts have run into a problem. Two Ones and Ben Briscoe is digging deeper into a possible side effect. This evening, there's a health warning across the United Kingdom that anyone with a history of allergic reactions should be careful with the new coronavirus vaccine. You see, two people who received the vaccine in the UK experienced reactions. Both of them have a history of severe allergies. Both recovered. Medical correspondent Dr. John LaPook talked about the news on CBS this morning. That type of reaction tends to be very rare. Of course, our regulator is going to be wanting to look at it very closely. I spoke to Tony Fauci about it last night. He said, you can bet that today that's going to be in the discussions uh, in the EUA uh, application that the FDA is going to be having. So health experts say the two people who had problems, they were both able to take their EpiPens and they got better fast. In fact, you're only probably going to have this issue if you're one of those people that has to carry the EpiPen around. For most of us in the U.S., there's something else that will be more common. Pfizer says 3.8% of people felt severe fatigue, some to the point they had trouble getting out of bed for a day or two. And then 2% of people had a severe headache. A fever spike right after the shot is also common, but Dr. Lapook says that's really a good thing. They tend to be transient. They go away in a couple of days and then uh, off you go. It's actually a sign that says, okay, my immune system saw something, it, it reacted to it, and uh, hopefully it's the beginning of me being protected. And one more question remains about the vaccine. Because it was produced so quickly, you might be wondering about the long-term side effects. Doctors say it is very rare that a lasting side effect would take months to kick in. Since we haven't seen long-term problems with the folks already in the vaccine trial, doctors say chances are pretty low.